Hey, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to explain the different partner levels, the types of work that you can see on Zometry, how to climb partner levels, um, how to upload certifications like ISO 9001, AS 9100D, ITAR, um, what their implications are, how to upload different machine types, capabilities in-house, and this is all directly related to how much work you see, the value of work you see, and the volume of work that you see. So let's talk about partner levels and success score. So success score is weighted by a couple of factors, quality, on-time delivery, communication, and engagement. Quality and on-time delivery are the most important factors in this entire list. So quality and on-time delivery have the highest weight, communication and engagement have the lowest weight, meaning that your communication and engagement could be pretty low, but your score could be fairly high as long as your quality and on-time delivery are fairly good. So they have graphs here displaying your performance over time. If you want to climb your partner level to premium, which is where I'm at, you need to have a partner success score of 85 or higher, and you need to have 15 or more jobs complete. Then a representative from Zometry will reach out to you or you can contact support right here and reach out to them. When you do this, they will send you a packet. You build a quality management system based upon the requirements that they have. So inside of the quality management system, they provide you to get to premium partnership. They have a ton of different little charts and variables that you need to track. You need to build your quality manual. You need to start tracking all of your tools. You need to document all of your processes and plenty of more things that I do not have time to cover in this video. So that's how you become a premium partner. Now let's talk about the machine types, certifications, post-treatment processes that you can apply for, and many more things. So let's talk about finishing capabilities. Finishing capabilities are things that you can do in-house or source relatively easily um, for the jobs that you see on your job board. So here are a ton of different finishing capabilities. You have all the anodizings, conversion coatings, heat treatments, you know, just, just a ton. There is a ton here. So I just wanted to make you aware that you can apply for different finishes in-house or outsourcing and you can manage them and take work according to what you are comfortable with. Different materials that you're able to machine. I do not have a preferred material. I can pretty much machine anything here. There's just different strategies associated with that. Um, different machines. So. Machines and 3D printers, so CNC lathes, vertical mills, Swiss lathes, wire EDMs. We can actually add machines here. They use the machine data to provide you work. So here is a list of all the machines that you can upload. Now we're going to go to one of the most important tabs, approved and available capabilities. So if you are not approved for some of these processes, you will never see work that requires these processes. It's just not going to happen. So if you need to see sheet cutting work and you have the sheet cutting capability, you need to apply for approval. Applying for approval sometimes is as easy as clicking the button and submitting an application. Sometimes you need to upload approved documentation. So here are a ton of different processes that you can see here. And here are a ton of certifications that you can upload. Now, there is a little section about certifications I wanted to mention. If you do not have ISO, AS, NADCAP, um, or ITAR, you will never see work related to these certifications. There's also inspection capabilities like formal inspections, coordinate measuring machine inspections. So let's go to the job board really quick. We're going to talk about the bidding process on Zometry. So let's say that this job right here, I analyze it. I analyze the geometry, I analyze the material price, and it makes no sense for me to do it. You know, the tolerances are too tight, the material type is too expensive, my machine time stacked onto all these variables just makes it completely illogical for me to even quote this. Well, they need to get it done regardless. So the job board is going to offer it to more people and increase price. If time passes and no one takes it, it's gonna offer it to more people and then increase the price again. So how do you get involved inside of this cycle where exometry is increasing the price and offering it to more people? What if you do provide a competitive price? As the price climbs, there is a trigger for this to return it back to your job board at an increased price and offer you the work. So let's say that we go down here to provide feedback. I type in 
$2,500, you know, my hours plus my material plus my tooling plus whatever other associated costs there are like fixture building and whatever, you do a sum total of how much that's going to cost you, you type it in here, you click the boxes that apply for why that happened, and then you click submit feedback. What's going to happen is a couple of minutes or an hour is going to pass. The price is going to increase, but it's going to show to other people. Then it's going to increase again, and it's going to get shown to more people. Then it's going to increase again and get shown to more people, increase and show to more people. Once the price hits your target price and no one else has taken it, it's going to return back to you. Once the job has returned back to you with a banner, you know that some type of trigger has occurred. Whether it's an exclusive offer based upon a job you did in the past, or it's a feedback offer based upon the price that you submitted and the job has climbed to your target price. Personally, I go through the entire job board and I either accept or analyze all of the work available to me, I price it so that it makes sense for my business model and then I wait. Um, most of the time I get three or four jobs a day that come back to me and it makes sense and then it takes me hours and hours and hours to do these jobs so I'm completely satisfied with my workload and then that's my cycle. I come back to the job board, I counter offer or I accept work, I wait for it to climb, I accept it because now it makes sense and it's making me profit, I do it and that's just the uh, normal cycle that I go through. The last partner level I forgot to mention is Ultra Premium and from the partner network manager Lauren Brown ISO certification would also help you get to the next level, ultra premium. However, it, it isn't required. Consistent quality and an OTS score over 90 and any written quality management system is sufficient for promotion to ultra. So that's what I'm in pursuit of right now, going from premium to ultra. So that's just my general overview of how the partner portal works. Again, like I always say, this is not professional business advice. Please do not ever put your eggs all in one basket expand, make different sales strategies, and grow your business beyond just zometry. Uh, I hope this helps at least one person along their business development journey. And until I see you guys again, take care.